Hi and welcome back to Laran Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and yes, this is a special episode. This is an episode where I'm gonna try to address something that keeps annoying me and that's the lag spikes. Yeah, I do have lag spikes in this game and I can't blame the hardware because that hardware is pretty good. It's uh, a Ryzen 12 core CPU, it has 64 gigs of RAM, everything is on SSD drives and I have a 1 gigabit full duplex fiber connection. And if that wasn't enough, I also have a different internet service provider if I have interruptions or poor connections to the first one. So I got great options to try everything out. And the graphic card is an RTX 3080, so really no bottlenecks anywhere. But still, I have lag spikes. And hopefully the solution might work as well on your situation, because I know several players has this kind of behavior with the frame lag. And it's really, really annoying. So, first of all, we're gonna try and test what kind of frame rate do I have in this situation. So, I'm gonna use Shift F5, and it will show very simplistic the frame rate up here in the corner. As you can see, something is happening. Uh, <laughs> there is something disturbing this number, and it's something with the render, as you can see. And uh, it doesn't really matter if I look into something like this, like a mountain or something. It will still behave pretty bad. And well, when you have spent a lot of money on an expensive computer, you want to make sure that you get the most of it. And uh, well, I get the most of it from many games, but not in fishing simulators. So I need to find out what I can do to improve this situation. And, you know, to get the best conditions to test this, I went to my private server, of course, because then I will not get interfered by any other activities that could affect my frame rate. And uh, what I can see from here, I still have this lag spike behavior. However, it's not as severe, it seems, at first. But we still need to dig into this a little bit more to know exactly what this is all about. And to those who doesn't want to get too technical and just want me to get straight to the point, I can tell you actually right away what did actually solve my situation. And that's basically get rid of all your baits, or at least most of them. But those who are really interested in knowing why do I jump into this conclusion, well, stick around and I will actually show you exactly what I did to find out. Because uh, it can be a little bit technical and uh, maybe not too easy to understand in some situations. But I will try and do my best to explain what I did and what I found. First of all, you need to know about something that is built into Roblox. It's something that is called Micro Profile. And it looks like this. If you press Ctrl F6 like this you get something up here basically this shows all the frames that are being generated when playing basically and as you can see there is some spikes happening now and then and those are actually the lag spikes that i'm currently receiving since i'm all by myself right now i don't get as many lag spikes and this lag spike that we can see here it happens every seventh second. That's weird. Uh, it's something that just keeps reappearing every seventh second, as you can see up here. So I timed it with a clock. I counted the frames. So I would say roughly seventh second. This comes as a spike. It goes both on public servers and it goes also on my VIP server. To explain the colors here. Uh, these first ones that has like an orange or copper color to it, those are the ones that contains data because it can't really store all the data that's being provided. It's a little bit of a limitation within Roblox because I want to get as much data as possible. So it just stores the one that has this copper color. So if I'm supposed to track something over here, I will not get all the data. So I'm going to try to monitor this part. If I freeze this, so I can pause this, you have actually a lot of different things up here in the corner. I'm not going to go into all the details about this, because it's a lot of things to cover, as you can see. But, first of all, you can actually 
change the amplitude, the height of these bars, uh, that can be helpful. So if you press it like on 100 millisecond, that means that the spike, if it reaches the top, that's 100 milliseconds. So as you can see, this spike is roughly up there somewhere around 100 milliseconds. You can pause the screen. So uh, this will keep going in the background. I'm just freezing the data as it is right now. We can hover for each frame. You can see uh, this spike happen on frame 384. You can get CPU time and GPU time and it's roughly the highest value here is roughly. Well, it says 99 milliseconds. Uh, so I will round it to let's say 100 milliseconds. What that actually means that to generate this frame, frame 384, it took basically 0.1 second. 100 milliseconds is 0.1 second. And if you have 10 of those during one second, that's basically 10 frames per second. So that would be really, really bad. So if these bars were supposed to be always this high, then I would have something that runs the game in 10 frames per second. But to know what you actually have when you have 60 frames per second, if we use the calculator, so this one is partly in Swedish, so sorry for that. <laughs> But one second is 1000 milliseconds. If you divide it by 60, because we have the 60 frames per second up here in the corner, and that's the goal with this exercise, uh, we can get 16.6, uh, maybe 16.7 millisecond per frame if we achieve this we're gonna get 60 frames per second as an average and if we check all the other frames here as you can see in this frame 416 we have the highest value here is 17.46 milliseconds we can check the next frame that's 17.16 and we have one that is down to 15.58 milliseconds. So it evens out at around, say, 16.6, 16.7 milliseconds. And that will give me the frame rate of 60 frames per second as a result. But these spikes, they ruin everything. So we need to check what's going on with this spike and what we can do in this situation. We're gonna change the mode. Uh, first of all, if we unpause this so it just keeps rolling and we change the mode into detailed, it will look like this. Maybe the first time you will start this, it might look a little bit different. It could look like something like this. It looks chaotic. It looks like you have <laughs> destroyed the game. It looks like artifacts or, well, something that has broken the game, basically. But once you have started to zoom in a little bit, it slows down a little bit so you can actually get a better view of what's actually going on. And if we pause the screen in this situation, if we, let's see, we can, so we can capture one of those spikes as well. So we pause the screen. We can move over to one of those spikes. As I move the cursor up here, I can basically see the content of each frame that is uh, being generated when playing in Roblox. And uh, these are the ones that takes only roughly 16 or 17 milliseconds. So those are very narrow, as you can see, pretty thin bars or columns here. But then you have the spike that becomes very wide. And you can also see that it's a lot of activity going on when you have this spike. What we can do in this situation is to actually go into this spike and see what is happening. And what we do, we just zoom in on this specific frame. In this case, it's going to be frame 362 it's going to be different from time to time but this is what we have to work with if we compare the surrounding frames we have some activity here that is uh, repeating itself uh, you see different rows and that's because we have different roblox worker it's like different uh, let's say we, we have like eight workers doing different things when you play the game and uh, it's divided among those different workers so not a single worker has to do everything this one happens every frame and uh, you can also see this one happening on this spike 
but it also includes something else that is well it's pretty unique because it's not really happening that often the first part that we can see here that is in every single frame if we go into that one just to eliminate that this is not really an issue you can see that this has something to do with the water system so fishing simulator has a unique water system and they call it water system as you can see here when I hover it. It's something that is running related to generating the water system. I, I don't really know the details but it's something that makes me believe that this is not the cause of the problem. Because we have the water all the time. And uh, you can see this happening everywhere basically. Every single frame has this activity, so it needs to be there. But if we take a look at this one, the one that really causes the big spike, we zoom into this one instead. You have something that is repeating itself over and over again, and this one creates the lag spike. If we go into this, and it's called interface controller, it's repeating over and over again. We zoom in on it just to see more what is going on so we can see that it's some kind of clone tool and it destroys something and then it clones again uh, but if we go and check what happens just before the clone we're gonna see something here and it accesses the bait folder and in this case in this specific case you see it's the beer tranquilizer folder and basically every single interface controller activity that you see here they are all baits baits that i carry in my backpack so basically the more baits i have the more of these i will get in return so if i have more baits it will take longer to generate this specific frame when it does this job so what i want to do is to reduce my amount of baits so i can generate this frame much faster so i can reduce the height of this spike and uh, the goal if i want to have it as smooth as possible i should get around well 16 or 17 milliseconds but that might be hard because there's a lot of things still going on uh, but if i can get it at least to let's say 20 or 25 then it's gonna be very playable and it's gonna really feel different if i manage to get it down that much uh, and it's going to be possible if i start to remove the baits basically what i also want to point out here that there are some other things that is not bait related i don't really know exactly what they do it feels like it's something that could need some optimization i'm not sure though but as you can see in this interface controller it doesn't matter what character i use i can use my alt character i can use my main character but if i check it out for some reason it lists a fish folder rainbow parrot fish the second one is let's see this one is trout and then we have a stingray folder the thing is that it always lists three fish folders. I don't really know why. It's very common that I see the rainbow parrot fish here. I don't even carry a rainbow parrot fish and I don't have it in the aquarium either. So I don't really know what's up with this activity. But it's pretty long actually comparing to how much time a single bait takes. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it does but... Uh, it creates and also contributes to this lag spike. Uh, but in my case I cannot really affect this one. So what I can affect is the amount of baits that I carry. This is something that I can control. So I'm going to get rid of all my baits more or less. Or at least most of them. I might want to still keep a few of them. Because some of them are, well they can be expensive actually. So going to cut most of them away. And we're going to see a reduction of this spike. But then you might wonder... Well, this only happens one time every seven seconds. It can't be really that bad, can it? Well, it can. Because this activity or function or whatever it's going on here, it's a heartbeat and it runs a service and it executes all these uh, scripts. It gets executed every single time someone does anything on the server so basically if i were supposed to go in here with my alt character for instance if i did that i can actually do that 
So here we are with my alt character and as you can see if I run the frame counter on the same computer, same hardware, same internet provider, you can see my alt character has a pretty solid frame rate. This character only has two baits actually in the backpack currently. Uh, while uh, my main character will still have the lag spike that occurs every seventh second. You can you could just see it ever so briefly. But the thing is that if I start to do things with a character on the server, it can be any player. It can be on a public server. It can be on a private server. This will affect my main character that has all the baits. So if I unpause this, so it really just shows if we get a spike or not. And I go back to my alt character. If I do something here in this situation, let's say if I fish, we're going to check for a spike up here in the corner. So soon when I catch the fish, you will see something happening. You see this? That's a lot of spikes. Just because I caught a fish with my secondary character. And it affected my main character. So basically, the more activity you have on a server. Just imagine a public server with many, many players doing a lot of things. You will get a lot of spikes. And remember, each spike in my case reach up to 100 milliseconds. So that's a pretty large spike. It's really something that you can feel. This doesn't only go for fishing. Uh, let's say if I, I can do like this. If I lock a fish. You see, I get a spike, I unlock a fish, I get another spike. If I throw a spear and hit a shark, I will get a spike. If I kill something, I get another spike. I get a spike also when I summon the boat. And I'm also gonna get a spike when I pick up loot. Everything I do with this character will affect my main character with a spike, basically. So it's very sensitive and the more baits I have, the larger the spike I will receive. Oh, so this is a neon shark. That's nice. But as you can see, if I hit the shark with a spear, I will generate a spike on my main character, as you can see. And if I pick up the loot, you see, there's a lot of spikes here. And the thing is that all these spikes, they are all the same. So, let's see. We can maybe, if we just freeze one of these spikes based on a fish that I'm catching. So I'm gonna pause the screen on my main character. So I'm gonna pause the screen. So this was what happened when I catched a fish on my alt character. As you can see, we have three big chunks here that really makes a frame taking a lot of time and they are basically the same it has the same content basically and the baits that are loaded here in each of these they are the one that takes the time to generate the frame as you can see i can zoom in just at random it doesn't matter what which one i take it's just gonna be the baits basically so this one is bait folder and it's the beer tranquilizer so all these baits causes these spikes to occur and we're gonna compare what happens first of all we're gonna jump into a public server just so you see the real life traffic so we're gonna go directly to the public server and here we are on a public server. We're gonna activate the frame rate counter up in the corner. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of things happening here. I'm gonna get a lot of spikes. Uh, that really shows very easily when I <laughs> am on a public server in these conditions. If I do the same thing and I start the micro profile, looks like this. I'm gonna stand still just to make everything stabilize a bit. You will see that, uh, well, first of all, you're going to have the mandatory spike every seventh second. But all the activities now on the server will generate a pretty large spike for me. So every single move that everyone <laughs> makes, well, not maybe like a player movement, but if they fish, if they hunt, if they loot, if they spawn a boat, if they just do anything that interacts with the inventory, even placing a decoration in the aquarium will generate one of these spikes. And if we just pause the screen like this and we go into the detailed mode, looks like this. As you can see, 
here we have our huge cluster <laughs> of spikes. And uh, you can see it's basically it's the same activity going on over and over again. And it loads these baits all the time. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now we, is that we're going to go over to Timeless Tides. We're going to use the cannon. We're going to shoot away most of these baits. We're going to reduce this by a lot. And we're going to compare what actually happens if I have less baits in my backpack. Because... This, this is pretty bad. Uh, these are spikes at around 100 milliseconds. And that gives a pretty bad frame rate. Uh, we're going to see how far we can go. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to go to Timeless Tides and use the cannon and shoot the baits. And here we are again. This time I've been... <laughs> getting rid of many of my baits so this is what the situation looks like currently i have let's see how many do i have i have 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 baits in my backpack and checking actually how much a bait will take uh, to load with that script it's 0.5 milliseconds and it doesn't sound like much but it really adds up because if you aim to have 60 frames per second if you have a computer that is capable to generate 60 frames per second keep in mind that 17 milliseconds anything above you will get a frame drop so having 0.5 milliseconds per bait if you have 20 baits that's 10 milliseconds and uh, then you don't really have much time left basically you have only seven more milliseconds on that frame without feeling a spike in the frame rate and uh, this is what it looks like currently so as you can see we still have the spikes but it's significantly lower it doesn't hit the roof anymore if we're gonna pause the screen uh, we can take a look at say this spike that we have right here it's uh, it's actually below 30 milliseconds i mean it's not great but it will make a much smoother feeling to everything because it's uh, well it's like one third of what i had before and even better than that so it really made a difference by removing the baits we can go into the detailed mode as well just to show what this really looks like as you can see we still have this part with all the remaining baits that i have so i'm still gonna reduce a few but i'm gonna use them one by one i've given away a lot of baits on public servers just sharing with everyone so they all can enjoy baits like the transmutation tokens so hopefully someone got amidas mutation from it i don't know but <laughs> it has been great just to give away baits to everyone that i've seen more or less uh, but uh, this is what it looks like currently uh, i would uh, prefer to see this go away because but i don't really know the purpose why it looks like this uh, but in my case, I'm gonna stick to somewhere in between one to five baits in my backpack. If I can keep it like that, I'm gonna cut this around in this, this region. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of baits that will cause additional frame drop. So if I get rid of maybe, let's say, 10 more baits or something like that, uh, it will mean a lot to my frame rate. But now, when I play the game, it runs so much smoother. I can uh, check the frame rate up here in the corner. Sure, it will drop a little bit, just as we know when checking the micro profile, but it's not gonna be as much as before. It will not go into orange or red, and uh, that is just perfect. It's gonna be a much smoother experience. It's gonna be great, and I really prefer to play games like this i i mean sure i want to have the baits in my backpack of course but uh, i really prefer uh, a higher frame rate a stable frame rate that will not be interfered by other players which uh, well which is the situation that we currently have but this this is much more smoother and it's also gonna <laughs> make it possible for me to actually record better videos again because as you might have seen 
I haven't made many other videos than the merchant videos lately and that's because I have had bad frame rate and that that really affects my motivation in making something that feels high quality. If everything just freezes when I record, uh, it's not really well. It's not really motivating me to make that much uh, content. To me, this has been resolved now, so I can get back to making more content from Fishing Simulator, and uh, I look forward to it. I have so many ideas. I have gotten so much suggestions on future videos, and. Uh, well, I'm going to put a few of those into reality pretty soon. So, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.